All right, so we're ready to take the uh, plenums off. And uh, this is a bit of a trick if you've never done it. And if you have done it, it's still a bit of a trick because they sure didn't make this thing easy. But there's some things you gotta take off first. So you gotta take uh, these on each side. There's these two connectors that connect up in the back. I don't know if the camera can get in there. The, in the back back there, there's two little pipes that connect, one for each side. And be real careful with those. I'll show them to you once I take the plenums off. But be real careful with those, because if you break them, then you're in a mess trying to figure out how to get those put back on, uh, having to run new lines. And then underneath in the front, there's a couple that I'll show you that uh, connect up underneath here. And then the other side's got that one pipe. But then the hard part is all these little tiny uh, band clamps that are in here. So if I zoom in, right in there is a little band clamp. You can see them right there. And there's one for each cylinder. So the best thing I've found to get these off is actually this tool right here. Let me zoom back out. It's one of these swivels and it stays in position. The end of it actually is a little bit loose, but it fits those band clamps pretty good. And so you don't have to use a socket on it. You can actually just twist it up in there and snake around underneath there and get those 10 off. So easy one is this clamp. Go ahead and take it. screwdriver and break that pipe. Big screwdriver. <clears throat> Push against the plenum and it'll slide down for you. Alright, and then back inside here, like I say, I'll show you once I get the plenums off, but there's these little hoses that clip in back here. And they are so delicate. They have a little pop on to get them off. Kind of helps to have little hands too. If they can squeeze on the outside and then pull the pipe back. Okay, so those two are off. And now up here on the wiring harness, the harness actually sits into a little bump right here so you got to raise this harness up and carefully pull up on your harness and push it out of the way. You want it so it doesn't lift up. And we'll go ahead and take the other clamp loose while we're taking clamps loose. Get a big screwdriver. Yep. So we got our two hoses off. The two in the back off that are really important that you don't break them. And these front two, we're gonna wait until we raise these up a little bit, see if we can access them a little better. And now we start on the 10 little clamps on the side. So each one of them has an orientation. And so you have to kind of look for the clamp and then take your little tool, put it on the clamp and then loosen the clamp up. And we got one more. So number five is pain, pain, pain. Barely see it in there. And it's in such a bad angle. It's unreal. The little pipes are in the way and everything. Basically, just got to try to get the tool on it. them a little bit. Okay. 
can be done though. Twisty tool comes in handy. Alright, so there's those five. See, I don't lose any sockets that way. Now that one ought to be free to raise up. So you just have to kind of jiggle it around. And up it comes. Alright. So now underneath here, is that one I was fighting with earlier. And now you can get to it a little bit better. So it's got a little squeeze thing on it. sits right there. It's a second one underneath there. So let me pull this plant them off. And voila. So there's all those little things you were dealing with. And each one of them, see it has a little stopper. Let's see if I can show this. It has a little stopper to orient in the right direction. So if you take these boots off, make sure you put these boots back with these tabs lining up each tab because each one has an orientation that helps you get these little uh, seals aligned. So if we're looking at the side, this is that little one I just last took off. This is the first one I took off. That's where your air comes in. In the back, there's one that's plugged off, and then this one is the one that's connected. So that one is the dangerous one, and you can see the little connector back in the car back there. That's the one, if you break those little lines, you got a lot of work to do to get to the back of the engine. But now we're making a little progress, so we got our first plant them off. So now what you want to do is since you just exposed your motor, you want to go ahead and put something in each of your intakes. Alright, so now the second one does the very same way. And you can actually, that, that last one that I took off, the little hose, that one you can access it with the plenum oil if you wanted to. You just gotta make sure the orientation's right. If it's the first time you're doing it, you probably won't be able to access it because the uh, factory clamp may still be on there. But I've had these off, and so I replaced them with some regular clamps. So you can actually see I can get to it before I even take the plenum off. It's just a little tight in there. No worse, no worse than doing the, the other one done. There we go. So he's off. Okay. So now for this one, all we're missing is the five little clamps and that one in the front. So we'll set up and do these five.
number five. All right, so the magic of our little curly tool makes life wonderful. So now this one should wiggle around, come up, and then I can pull this last one off the front. There we go. And then we got this one that's to come off. Pinching on the sides of it. And then my electrical line jumped back into the hole, so that was holding everything up. And out comes up. So now you can see what I was talking about back in the back. There's these two two lines that connect up. See this one's little catch is broken already. Somebody didn't realize it had to come off. But that's pretty much how you do it. Now, up on top here, the next step of this whole preparation is to take these covers off. We're going to access all the plugs and the uh, coils and pull the plugs out. I'm not going to take them all the way out, but I'm going to back them up. That way some air can push out of the, the uh, plug hole. And it'll also keep me protected so I don't have any crud fall down in there while I'm doing the work on it. But I just want to break them free so they lose the compression and uh, back them out a few threads. Then we'll be able to turn the motor over. So we'll put our paper in our other intakes and we'll be about ready to loosen up those mount bolts and raise the car up and go to the bottom. So I'll set back up here and we'll show you how to break these spark plugs out and the coal packs. <laughs> 